While the students may be home for the summer, hard work continues to take place in schools to get ready for the next school year in September. So we are um, redoing the roof at uh, the shingled roof, which is the, the high pitch roof at the Hopkins School um, around the perimeter. And we're doing some of the low slope roof and we're addressing the, um, the low slope roof at Hopkins School and the high school. We're stripping in seams. So they're, you know, 15, 20 year old roofs and we're um, trying to do some uh, preventative maintenance and addressing a few leaks that we have. Um, the, uh, you know, the shingle roof at Hopkins has, uh, you know, met his, its life uh, cycle. So it, it's best that we replace that now. Director of Buildings and Grounds Al Rogers listed off a few of the many projects going on throughout Hopkinton schools this summer. We're replacing the scoreboard uh, at the high school um, with um, two LED uh, modern uh, scoreboards that'll be on the walls. Uh, we're motorizing the bleachers at both the middle school and the high school so um, you know we can save the custodians back and um, alleviate you know, the potential for liability if, if the bleachers aren't, weren't pulled out perfectly, that, you know, there's a gap in between the bleachers, so these are on track. So they, they open and close, um, you know, through a, a motor device. Oh, we're doing some painting at Elmwood, um, where we uh, replaced two condensing units uh, for the air conditioning for the uh, computer lab and the library. Um, those are both uh, they were put in in, I think, 89, is, uh, is what, so they've reached their life cycle. These projects are taking place on top of the many routine annual maintenance responsibilities. You know, there's our regular routine things like, um, you know, the custodians go through the buildings and they, they clean from top to bottom. They uh, strip and wax um, every classroom, every corridor. Um, we're screening and refinishing all of the wooden gym floors. One of the much anticipated additions includes air conditioning at the middle school auditorium. We're adding um, air conditioning to the auditorium and uh, also in the auditorium we're doing some, uh, some upgrades. We're painting the floor and refinishing the floor in front of the presidium, uh, adding some lighting, replacing some rigging and a new control system for the lighting. Al mentioned that the most expensive project is the necessary roof repairs. It's a little over um, a million dollars we're spending on the roofs. The uh, scoreboard is about um, $23,000, $24,000, including the electrical uh, and all that. The, um, the bleachers, um, both middle school and high school, are around eighty, eighty-five thousand dollars for the for the upgrades and the electrical to provide the the motors uh, to to those units. The list of repairs this summer is extensive, but in many cases, renovations on the various schools are similar, due to the fact many of the buildings are around the same age. We had the benefit of of um, building uh, new additions and new buildings, and those all happened pretty close together. So. Um, those things are starting to age a bit and they're starting to age at the same time. So we're, you know, we, we have to address things that are aging. While the majority of the projects will be done by the school year in September, a few of the smaller items will continue a bit into the school year. It goes on all summer long. Some of it will be, um, you know, into the, uh, into the school year. We, we, we'll um, address all the stuff that has to get done in classrooms and teaching spaces. Um, some of the stuff can, uh, can uh, you know, go into the school year that, you know, doesn't affect the, the education process.